The sound of data is all about looking at data in a different way. It's all about taking something old, something scientific, and managing to produce art out of it. A playful new approach to steer the historical imagination of a broader audience. To me, the sound of data is about inspiration and thinking outside the box. Traffic has been a bigger problem for years and it's become a problem for the environment. It has grown from economic growth and chances are if you're in Belval, you've been stuck in a traffic jam. Traffic is usually perceived as something rather annoying. And to me as a musician, using traffic to produce music is a very exciting thought. Our team works on making machines intelligent by automatically interpreting visual factual data. Art such as music requires creativity. Can we make machines creative? Can we make them interpret and create artistic data? Our goal is to make machines link visual 3D body scans to music through making the bodies dance and hearing their sound. Representing the industrial past in museums, exhibitions or events means striking a balance between original representation and recreated staging. And sound can be part of both representation and recreation. You can, for example, play a specifically composed soundscape to trigger memories or to create a specific atmosphere. Or you play an original sound, for example, the noise of an old steel mill in operation. We're collecting a different kind of data. We want you to be part of a collaborative art project where you'll be able to make your own abstract piece of art and that piece of art will then be congregated in different ways, including a final sonification. On est fasciné par l'équilibre que peuvent atteindre les œuvres d'art abstraites, et on voulait interroger cet équilibre grâce aux mathématiques et à la créativité de la foule. Traffic is the pulse of our economy and the flow of our day-to-day -day life. Our culture determines the rhythm of traffic. Our pulse, flow, rhythm are musically very interesting dimensions. Everyone knows how traffic sounds like and actually we've been recording it with a device called a piezo electric but the real question for us is how would we sonify uh, this data and this is what is interesting to us. The ability to dance by composing movement patterns that align to musical beats is a form of art that requires a lot of practice even for humans. What if machines were able to learn from this practice and make your 3D body scan dance according to different styles of music? By using simple geometric ingredients, curves, circles, triangles, you can make a piece not only for yourself, but be part of a giant artistic and mathematical experiment. Sonification provides a new tool or approach to generate sound. We will be sonifying historical data related to the industrial history of Belval in the past 100 years. So you could say, in some ways, we will be truly listening to the sounds of the past. However, as a public historian, I very much also like the idea that historical data will be used by musicians to compose new tracks for a new audience. And this brings us back to the digital representation of history. In essence, a mixture of original representation and recreated staging. On propose un regard plus contemplatif et tangible sur les mathématiques. Vous n'avez participé? Vous trouverez des stations un peu partout durant la nuit. We tend to see ourselves and others in terms of physical measurements, like tall, thin, short. But what if we define ourselves as a sound, a unique melody based on our 3D body measurements? We would like to shift the listener's focus from the negative connotations of traffic towards more artistic aspects. We would like to get surprised and we would like to hear what is being revealed if we listen to sonified traffic data.